So let's take a look at EMFs for, for newly discrete random variables. Now, how this works, remember, is that with Bernoulli RVs, x can be equal to zero or x can be equal to one. We only have a chance of success or a chance of failure. So here's how the probabilities are defined. So x is going to be our variable here. This is what we're looking for. So let's say we're taking a look at the number of head slipped, for example. This is going to be the probability of a success. So what it's going to be is if we have a success, the probability is going to be alpha. If the success does not occur, if we get a failure, the probability will be one minus alpha and whatever other number we put in, it will be zero. So for an example, in terms of flipping coins, so in terms of heads on coin flips, this is another example that I've been keeping through all of the videos. What we have is that the probability of a success is going to be 0 0.5. So how we can think about this is it's going to be 0 0.5 if heads, so this would be x is equal to 1, 0.5 if tails, and this would be x equals 0, a failure, and it's 0 else because there's no other way to flip a coin. It's going to be heads or tails. If it lands on its side, we flip it again. So let's take this notion and think about a problem. So let's suppose the odds of picking a green marble is 0.4. We want to find a formula for the probability of picking a green marble after n tries. So in other words, however many tries it takes us to finally get that green marble. So our PMF for this is going to be x, and when it's a success, it occurs with a 0.4% or 0.4 chance, so 40% chance. So let's say that we get it after one try. What is this going to look like for us? So this would be the probability that x is equal to 1, which means it's the probability of just getting a green marble right away. So this would be 0.4. What if we have x equals 2? So we're going to have two tries. This would be the problem. I'm going to use e for something else and then we get a green marble. So this would just be, and I'll put this a line below, this is going to be the probability of something else times the probability of green. Now, what is the probability of getting something else? Well, it's going to be one minus the probability of getting green. So this would be 0.6 times 0 0.4. What if we have P of X equal to three? Well, this is the probability of two things that are not green, followed by the probability of getting something green. So this would be the same thing. We're doing the probability of something else times the probability of something else times the probability of getting something green. And what does this come out to? Well, 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 gives us 0 0.6 squared times 0 0.4. So we can start to generalize a little bit. And what we notice is that we have, if we're going for three, we have three minus one failures and we have one success. So if we're looking at P of X is equal to N tries, what we're going to get is the probability of E, E, and we're gonna have N minus one of these something else's followed by the probability of G which is basically going to give us probability of E times dot, 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 the probability of E times the probability of green. So we're gonna have N minus one of these and then one probability of green. So in this case, we're going to get 0 0.4 times N to the minus one times 0 0.6 sticking in our probabilities in there. So this would be our formula we're figuring out the probability of picking a green marble after n tries. And this can be generalized. So stepping away from our green marbles, let's just say that we have a probability with x and alpha. 
and we're given our old thing before, so it's going to be alpha when x is equal to 1, 1 minus alpha x equals 0, and 0 else. If we want a success after n tries, so the probability where x is equal to n is going to be 1 minus alpha to the n minus 1 times alpha. So we can use this as a nice way of working with problems where we have a success after a certain amount of times where the only thing that we're measuring are successes and failures. If you have any questions about this, you know what to do.